one of the worst natural disasters in our country's history. At least 2,000 hurricane Katrina refugees have arrived by the bus load. Houston Many Astrodome will soon be the new temporary home for thousands of evacuees. To the Astrodome. It was like a rolling disaster that just kept getting worse and worse. You see them on the TV, there's thousands of them just begging, get us out of here. I was frustrated because day in and day out, I saw nothing happening. And they just kept shooting these flashes of us on TV and it's like, help hasn't arrived yet, you know what is going on? I didn't know where my family was. I didn't know where my mother was. I had no way to contact my mom. I was so afraid of not knowing would I see my husband again. No one said anything about that there would be people there that would help us get to another place. I was so frustrated. And I started thinking, why can't I do something? Why can't I just go there and help them? I just said, I'm going to be there to greet them. And I'm going to bring them back. And I'm going to encourage everybody else I can to do the same. I think anybody who had that idea was a good idea. To relieve the Astrodome, to take them out of there. People were saying, we're going home. So I didn't think they knew the intensity of what their home was like. You're not going home anytime soon. Dan was recruiting people to go to Florida. That was the plan, to go to Florida and just go from there. I said, okay, put us on the list, we going. He said, are you really gonna come? I said, we're going. I, I said, babe, I don't trust this. Cause why somebody just wanna help me all of a sudden? I said, Dan, man, look, I'm telling you, I'm putting my life in your hands. I knew it was better than where I was in Houston, where there were thousands of people, probably without jobs. Now all of a sudden, you know, he really has these people. They're coming back to South Florida. We have to find them places to live, help them get jobs, help them get clothes. I mean, they came with nothing. You know, they didn't have anything at all. Friction started to appear. Everybody was uptight and there was a problem. He wasn't getting along with the group. He wasn't getting along with his roommates. I started to investigate this. We discovered eventually that he was never in New Orleans. He had actually been jailed when he was younger. I realized that you couldn't believe anything he said. What Dan gathered together was almost like a microcosm of society. Not all the results were positive, but isn't that life?